Good morning, everybody. It's November 12th, 2009. Um, I had so many subjects to talk about that I really need to start writing them down so I could just bang them out because it's like always after the fact. I was hella nervous today because I drive um, a bit aggressively and I had a cop follow me for like a mile or two. Like, what are you doing? And then when he got close enough, I realized the fucker was on the phone. Just as long as you don't try and pull my ass over. I was doing speed limit in the school zone and everything. That's the slowest I've ever gotten to work. Um, this is my disclaimer. Don't, don't, don't drive like a maniac. You know, be safe about it. Because even experienced drivers get into fender benders. Fender benders. Um, my my dog's brother passed over the weekend. I'm so disappointed about that. Um, but I think someone poisoned him. And by the time we found out anything was wrong with him he was like on his last leg and didn't want to be touched or bothered or anything like that and veterinarians charge an arm and a leg to come out to the house to basically tell you what you already knew so um it's just been really like a little crazy um uh, I've been skipping days on P90X. I've been kind of busy besides, you know, going to work sore and doing extra shit and it just makes me tired. Yes, that's an excuse and leave me alone. <laughs> when I get back to where my schedule is mellow, I'll start back on it again because I was on this 5.30 a.m. thing and I was wearing myself out. And then to come to work and be, you know, toting boxes and moving shit, it's just, it's crazy. Um, this past radio show, I'll put the the link in the, the window is what's really good show um on blogtalkradio.com um go there and look it up it's it's really informative on some things call in call in to listen listen online however you get to us it's great um with the host grizzy and myself um ooh, that was the that was that <laughs> i haven't gotten that comfortable yet where i could just fart on camera and everything you know I've picked my nose I've you know gotten dandruff out of my head I've done my hair I think farting is a you know we got to be married um I have a uh, yeah um you can email me about this black is the new white since when, as black people, we done let our kids run amok in the goddamn stores and pretty much do what the hell they want to do? To me, that's an embarrassment to you. You know, you don't have no home training. And when the kid get a little weight on them, like raising a dog, they're going to try you. Um, Just working where I work, it's... Uh, I've run into a couple of different issues. We had one lady come in. She was a, a heavy, heavy set lady. And she had... Maybe the boy was like six, seven. She's trying to try on clothes. You know what I'm saying? She's already walking with a cane. This little punk is just running around the store doing what he want to do. And it got to the point when she got to the register to check out. You know, she's in tears. He won't listen to me. I don't know what to do. So, you know, after I finished ringing her up, I asked her permission. Do you want me to go and um, get him for you? You know, jack them up. Would you please? This is coming from a mother. Obviously, she was tired. So, I went over there. Jacked the little boy up. And in a nice motherly voice, if you don't get your little ones over there and stand by your mother and stop acting a fool in the store, it's going to be me and you in that bathroom and we going to dance. He's looking at me like, you know, one, I don't know you, and then you threatening to whoop me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Get it over there. He held on to his mother's hand, and, you know, basically I told him in front of her, in her presence, you come in here again or any store, acting a fool and not listening to your mother, I'm going to dance with you. We going we gonna to go at it. I wear my belt every day to the store. Yes, ma'am. So, obviously, you know how to act. You just do that because you can get away with it with her. He held on to that woman's hand until they left the store. The little chick the other day, you know... She ran around the store, in and out of dressing rooms, this, that, and the third. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. You need to cut it out. 
you know, her mother mumbled something or whatever, but she didn't approach me to say anything or I'd have lost my job. Like, first of all, you in my face about something your kid's doing, anything she break, you're going to have to buy. And you're already hollering about prices, so, you know, it, you, you need to go ahead and, and exit or whatever. And I know that's kind of, you know, customer service, kind of wishy-washy or whatever, but at the same time, discipline your motherfucking kids. Discipline the motherfuckers. This one lady comes in the store with her grandkids and she know they bad. This motherfucker carry one of them wooden spoons. Like used to hang on the wall in Brooklyn. I don't know if they had it in the South. But used to hang on the wall in Brooklyn, the wooden fork, spoon, and knife. Pop the shit out that ass. She All she had to do was take it out of her purse and go like that and them niggas got right. <laughs> that shit was funny. Um, oh, man. It's just so much stuff. So much stuff. Um, me and my sister have been hanging out tight when we can. You know, that damn Twilight, New Moon, and Avatar is coming out. Got to go see that. That will not be on bootleg for me to go see. I'm going to the movies, IMAX if possible, and sit there like, ooh, ah. <laughs> I want to go see that. That's just going to be hot. And once again, I don't even know who I'm working with this morning, but the motherfuckers are late. And I ain't got no call to say, I ain't coming, bitch, or nothing. But it is what it is. Um, lady came in the store the other day, and she was like, do you have any lip gloss or anything to keep my lips from having that white rim around it. You know, when you put on gloss and you talk, it mixes with your spit and creates that line. So I said, well, if you did Carmex and a little bit of shea butter, mix that together and put it on your lips, you know, it would keep them hydrated. And, um, you wouldn't have that white line so much. But I was like, if you hanging out with your friends and they see you got a white line, why don't they say nothing? She was like, I know, white right? bitch, you just be talking to me and it takes a stranger. So like, we don't want to embarrass you. So what's more embarrassing, me talking to you with this white ass line between my lips or you telling me what's going on? Or a stranger telling me what's going on? People are funny. Um, I don't know how much time I got. And the last couple of videos I've made, you probably won't see them until I reach a two or three hundred mark because when you first start out, they won't let you put videos online that's ten minutes or over. You have to, you know, have special privileges to do that or make a bunch of videos and then, you know, you get, uh, I want to say sponsoring where they put the little, yeah, you get it. Um, anyway, so you'll probably see those later. Um... My new website is coming out. I'm going to still try to work on the outline for that. Um, I'll let you know more as I progress with that. Um, it's it's really going to be uh, it's going to be exciting. Um, we're working on some more projects with the radio show, taking that to new heights, and I want to use you know, the the fan base that I have to really bring it forth. Um, those people that know me personally know I'm not afraid to um, be different or, you know, stand out a bit. Don't bother me. It's always a shock value. Oh, my God, she did what? <laughs> oh, man, it's so much to music. I have fallen in love with Lady Gaga's music. Oh, my God. That bad romance shit is the shit. It's the shit. I love it. It's the shit. Okay. Well, I will try to make another one later today. If not, you know the, you know the drill. Um, in the mornings is when I usually have quiet time in order to make them and, and try to sit and make sure everything's on up and up. But, um, as we go through, you'll learn more about me. If you email me, I'll learn more about you. Um, dang, that was loud. My stomach just growling. 
just growling. Yeah, I'm stop darling. So bye, fuckers. <laughs>